Hi there, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to talk about Azure AD Join for Windows 11 devices. So we will talk about Azure AD Join, hybrid Azure AD Join, what are the differences and what is Azure Active Directory registration. We are going to discuss about Intune auto enrollment and we are going to see all these in demo as well. So don't skip it. Let's go for it. Let's quickly look into Windows 11 Azure AD join process. We'll talk about different join processes, hybrid Azure AD, Azure AD and Azure AD registration, etc. We'll also talk about Intune enrollment, automatic Intune enrollment and provisioning methods, even licensing, etc. Let's move on. Well, let's quickly look into talking points for today. We'll cover Azure AD, that is the main topic, and we will discuss about the difference between us hybrid Azure AD and then domain join. What does domain join and what does Intune enrollment? And we'll see you demo. So most of the parts will be demo in this video. Let's move to the next slide. These are the main differences between Azure AD and hybrid Azure AD. Just quickly wanted to give you an overview of different device stress types. Azure AD joint is the modern device stress type and this is what I recommend personally. Windows devices joined only to Azure AD requiring an organizational account to sign into Windows 11 or Windows 10 devices. The point here is you need to have an organizational ID to log into Azure AD joined devices. What does Azure AD registered? Azure AD registered devices are the devices that are not part of organization, mostly personal devices. You want to enable BYO kind of a scenario for Windows devices. These types of devices are that it is not a fully managed device user can log in to that particular device with their personal Microsoft account or local account this gives very less control to organization to manage the device this is for company owned devices Azure AD joint and hybrid Azure AD joint scenario is basically the devices are joined to on-prem active directory or the active directory services in the cloud but the devices are registered with Azure Active Directory. So basically from an admin perspective in this scenario, device object will be available only in Azure AD. In this scenario, if it is a PYO scenario, bring your own device scenario, personal device kind of a scenario, Azure AD registered devices will be available only in Azure Active Directory portal. For hybrid Azure AD join, the device records will be available in both on-prem Active Directory because these devices are joined to on-prem Active Directory and then registered with Azure Active Directory. There are, this is very complex scenario. You need to have network, line of sight, etc. for this to work. I don't recommend this scenario because that is getting into a lot of complex infrastructure management etc etc let's move to the next slide what are the plannings required before joining a device windows 11 device to azure active directory there are licensing requirements mainly for mdm enrollment and other features such as conditional access etc apart from licensing requirements you need to review the identity infrastructure that you are using do you have adfs are you already get rid of ADFS or are you having third party identity providers and what is your device management strategy that is another point that you need to tackle with your clients or internal stakeholders and once the devices are Azure AD join how they are going to get application and resource access LOB application or resource access map drives file shares etc how they are going to get resource access with the modern authentication if you are having on-prem active directory then you can facilitate Kerberos authentication even Azure Active Directory there's a feature called Kerberos authentication you need to understand the provisioning options also and you need to review the provisioning options before taking a decision on Azure Active Directory join for Windows 11 devices such as autopilot you can see a table over here which will give you more details Windows autopilot what it will give you and what are the advantages what are the disadvantages what are the challenges you would have etc 
let's move on to the next slide this is the ubi experience if the windows 11 is newly installed on your device this would be the ubi experience in the windows 11 startup screen you will get this particular page and you need to select setup for work or school if you want to join to azure active directory using a manual method and then you need to enter your username and password etc and it is very straightforward process now let's look at the licensing details windows home editions don't support azure ad join can only support azure ad registration kind of a scenario we have discussed what is azure ad registration in the previous slide it is for personal usage of the devices byo kind of a scenario windows 11 pro or enterprise versions are supported for azure ad join and there are some additional license requirement if you want to enable conditional access auto enrollment of devices into Intune whenever they join to Azure AD etc let's quickly look into Intune MDM auto enrollment scenarios over here Intune auto enrollment configurations are required if you want your Windows 11 devices to automatically enroll into Intune whenever those devices are joined to Azure Active Directory. So these are the configurations for that. All means all the users would be able to do that. But if you specify some, you can specify a Active Directory, Azure Active Directory user group over here. And only those users would be able to use this functionality. Okay, let's move on and get into the file part of the video the demos let's check how to join a windows 11 pc to azure ad join i have logged into this pc with local account okay this is pc name and this is the local account name okay so i have logged in with that account now what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch the settings app okay and in the settings app if you go to account and access work or school section you would be able to see a option to connect get access to resources like email apps and network from your office network your work or school might control some of the things on this device once connected so this is the connect button that you want to use okay i'm going to click on connect that will give me a pop-up and over here there are few options today we are going to talk about joining this device to azure active directory but if you just need to manage this device through intune you can just put in your corporate email id over here and then click on next but this is BYO kind of a scenario I'm going to join this device to Azure Active Directory so that I can have a CYO corporate owned device kind of a scenario there are other ways to join to active Azure Active Directory as we discussed in the slides but this is the manual way to do it okay, just click on it and enter your corporate credentials now let's try with the username or your corporate identification login and click on next enter your password and click on sign in and just wait and see whether the device is getting enrolled into azure active directory or not now it has proceeded and it says make sure this is your organization if you continue system policies might turn on or other changes might be made on your pc is it the right organization and it is giving me all the organization details yes and i'm going to say yes it is the organization and i'm going to click on join okay to join this windows 11 device to azure active directory click on join and wait for this to complete okay that's good all set the device is connected to default directory when you are ready to use new account select start button select your current account picture and then select switch account sign in using the new corporate id to the device okay that means azure active directory join is completed for this windows 11 device as you can see over here if you click on more info you would be able to get more details about that default directory details and when is the last successful seeing all those details you can get it from here
Okay, signing out. A few moments later. You can see I am logging into Azure AD joint Windows 11 with HDMD test account. And this is the login for the first time. So it is going to take some time. Oh, I have logged into a Windows 11 device which is Azure AD joint and you can see over here if I go and launch the PowerShell command from here. So this is the Azure AD joint device and this is HDMD test account. That is what I use for joining this Windows 11 device to the organization. So over here you can see the pinned applications. These are the policies coming from Intune and you can see recommended applications as well if I search for company portal you can see it's a company portal over here for easy access I have opened it from here if I look into the company portal you can see okay the device is already enrolled to Intune and it got already some applications installed for example if I go over here download and updates you can see the applications are installed WinMerge is installed and 7 zip is getting downloaded all those details you can see over here and there are some available applications like this brave if you want you can manually install it from from the company portal if i go to settings icon of company portal you can make it dark light or windows default and you can sync it if you want to sync the policies with intune service then you can use this button to sync and all the details are available here and the other place which you want to look into to confirm whether your device is Azure AD joined or not it is accounts inside settings if you can go to accounts accounts and in the accounts if you go to access work or school you would be able to see this device is joined to HDMD organization and if you go to info button over here you would be able to see the policies which are deployed from Intune. Intune enrollment happened automatically as we discussed in the slides. So all these policies are deployed and applications are successfully deployed, etc, etc. And from here also you have an option to think and you can create a diagnostic report if you want, if you want some help from your IT admins or IT help desk. So you might have seen all the details in the video. But just to recap, we talked about licensing, what are the licensing requirements, whether Windows 11 home PCs, home edition PCs would be able to join to Azure AD or not, how about Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise versions. We talked about modern authentication versus Kerberos authentication and what are the other scenarios that you need to look into before getting into Azure AD join for your Windows 11 devices etc and what are the provisioning methods available for Windows 11 is also discussed in this video hopefully this was helpful to you thank you all for watching see you around